Okay guys, what we have here are some mud dauber wasp tubes. Uh, these tubes are made of mud, obviously, and each one of these is going to have a chamber in it, and that chamber is most likely going to be filled with spiders. They'll put an egg sac, or they'll put an egg inside each one of these chambers, and then that, that little grub, when it hatches out of that egg, is going to be able to feed on what are living spiders. These spiders were put in there still alive. They were, they were stung and paralyzed, but kept alive so they stay fresh. So that fresh spider meat keeps those cool little wasp grubs alive all the way through their cycle. We've got one here now that I can see has a cap on the inside. Uh, these are probably capped deeper inside. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna chisel away here. Uh, it's unfortunate we have to wreck these to do it, but we're gonna do it. And then I wanna break in and see what kind of spiders uh, we're finding mostly. Now, this particular group of tubes were found on a uh, wood pile, obviously. They were found on this wood pile, and all throughout the wood pile, in and around the wood pile, we're finding tons and tons of black widows. So my goal is to excavate these tubes uh, and see if there's any black widows inside these tubes. As much as I don't want to ruin what the wasp has done here, I still want to find out what kind of spiders, for the sake of trying to figure out, that feels like a cap. Yep, that's a cap right there. Okay, see how there's a cap right here. And we're going to find out what kind of tubes, or what kind of spiders these things are gobbling up. And it's just mud, so it chisels away pretty easily. But I still don't want to, this feels like another cat coming up here. It's getting real hard right there. Yep, that's a cat. Crazy. Okay, so there's a cat, there's a cat. Chisel this one back and see what we got. There's a cap right there, right at the back, yeah. And there's another cap right here, this one I can see, okay? And see how these caps are made where they actually, they actually have a small inside tube that comes out here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's an air, if that's for air, or what that's all about. But every one of these caps will have that. Pretty cool stuff. So let me see if I can break this cap off see what we have in a way of spiders. I want to see what kind of spiders this wasp was planning to feed to her babies. Oh, look at there, there's a pupa. That's a wasp pupa. So we may not find any spiders in here. There's the difference, because this is October, so most of these have probably eaten. Oh, oh, and I say that, but right there's a spider. That's a spider inside, so let's chisel away this other cat. And let's pop this dude out. There's spiders right there. Nice, okay. In some cases, maybe the grub died. I'm trying to figure out if that is a black widow right there. Keep in mind, the abdomen is, the abdomen's a little moldy, so. It's tough, tough to identify black widows when they're all dried up and covered in mold. Sometimes the grubs don't survive, and if they don't survive or the eggs don't hatch, you end up with a whole bunch of spiders that are jammed in one of these cells. And that's four spiders. Do a body count here. This will be kind of cool. Four spiders. Four, five, six. That one looks like has a possibility of being a black widow too. I'm looking to see if they're male or female. That looks like it might be a male black widow right there. I can't tell. It could just be a uh, little marbled orb weaver of some sort, but it looks like that might be a black widow right there. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, let's keep digging away here because I'm, it's, that's at least six spiders. There's seven spiders. Eight, eight spiders, nine spiders. Crazy, crazy stuff. That's nine, and I think this is the next cap. I think we've reached the end. So that's nine, at least nine spiders. 
recognizable spiders that I pulled out of there and one of them right there looks like might be a black widow not totally sure but there's nine spiders in that one chamber first chamber had the wasp pupa uh, and the way these spiders are all moldy that tells me that the egg or the grub inside the second chamber did not make it it perished let's break into the next chamber carefully if I can do this and not re oh there's more spiders Jeez, that would be 10 spiders there's 11 spiders it's a big one 11 spiders so that's 11 spiders in that one chamber that's pretty wild okay chisel this away let's see what's in this chamber and I see legs so it looks like we got some spiders yep big spiders nice how wild is that and again keep in mind these were put in here alive the dauber the mud dauber wasp is going to sting them but not kill them it's just going to paralyze them and that way it's nice fresh spider meat that looks like part of a spider right there it's kind of soft and oh, nope it's just soft mud i think it has silk i think spider croak put some silk on that one and here we have some more spiders that would be two three four crazy look at this big spider five a lot of them are the same I just I just can't under these circumstances I'm having a hard time identifying what that spider is even harder when I can't zoom in on it. There we go. These look like they might just be mostly these little orb weavers, the pumpkin orb weavers and different things. But still bringing spiders. There's another. There's another one. I forget what we're up to in this one. I lost count. But anyway, lots of spiders in here. Okay. There's a chamber. There's a chamber. And there's a chamber. So let's break in. To the next ones not a single black widow yet which is good in the way that because i like black widows i don't want to see a bunch of dead black widows but at the same time it would be awesome to see these guys as solid predators on black widows that would be a very cool discovery for me anyway back off a little bit so you can see what i'm doing this feels like another, this another pupa. That's pretty big and solid. And I want to say that's another wasp pupa. I don't think it's alive. I can't tell. It feels kind of crunchy like it's, like it died. Yep. Oh no. Nope. There's the wasp. That's the wasp grub inside the pupa. So there you go. Check that out all those spiders that final chamber were loaded with some big spiders these all look like the same type of orb weavers I don't see anything that I'm able to identify as a black widow there they're almost all the same and I'm not a expert at identifying old moldy spiders either so I'm not gonna even try to tell you what these are they just look like orb weavers of a type some kind of Orb weaver. Oh, bunch of spiders in this chamber. Same bugs again. All the same kind of spiders so far. And there's a pupa in there. Chisel that cap away. And I got one. Might have just. There's a spider that is still very much alive in that chamber. Look at that. Locked in that chamber, and that little bug is still alive. That is crazy. 40 mile an hour winds, man. It's probably not helping my audio much. And there's another chrysalis, okay. There's a pupa. Pupa. 
This I think is another pupa as well. There we go, another pupa. And that other one looks like it's also going to be a pupa. There's a lot. Yep. There we go. Got the grub pulled. That's kind of what I was hoping to do the other one, and it didn't work out. This one worked out that way. So now I can show you the actual mud dauber grub now. It's just, it's just a wasp larva. Pretty cool. Okay. Go back into here. We'll get this last one thinned out. See what's there. There's a partial cap on the pupa, and there's another pupa. And again, guys, I don't do this all the time. I'm only doing this because I was hoping to see if we could find some black widows, and we're not seeing any black widows. Any nothing I can, nothing I, I can identify as a black widow. And I'm gonna. Put these back in the wood pile here where these will probably still hatch these guys unfortunately are going to die they're going to get it's going to get too cold for them but something will come along and eat them they won't go to waste ants or somebody will still get them but those three we're going to put right back into the wood pile secure them so they don't get any frost and they'll be good now we'll hit this one last one and we'll see what's in this one because this is relatively looks relatively new newer than that big tube and I could be wrong oh look at that clump of spiders that is crazy that is a pack of spiders if I tap this they're gonna all fall apart how crazy cool is that and again we're looking at almost all the same kind of spiders too that's wind blowing him around he's not alive but obviously something sort of catastrophic happened in this one because there's a, it doesn't look like anything survived in there, including the spiders. So way crazy cool. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. On average, on average, we're looking at nine, nine, anywhere from nine to 11 spiders. So, you know, we'll call it 10. And we'll call this a day. Again, we're gonna put these guys back into that, back into that that log pile, that that wood pile, and uh, those will hatch out. So there you go, man. We excavated a mud dauber, a group of mud dauber cells to show you what's inside. That is pretty neat stuff. So if you don't like spiders and you don't like wasps, now you got another reason to at least appreciate wasps. All right, guys. We're done here. Mud daubers. They're just bugs trying to live another day.